Hello, this is Greg. Um, what am I holding? Is this an iPhone 3GS, 4G? What is this? Oh, it's a knockoff iPhone that I've had for a long time. And it came with 16 gigabytes of memory. Um, and there's a little camera there. And here it is. It's... And I paid more than I'm going to tell you. Okay, I'm not even going to turn it on because I don't know where the charger is because it's a piece of junk. Um, I will tell you the touch screen's terrible. The applications, you really can't get any apps. Um, the games on there are some Chinese weird games that you don't know how to play because it's Chinese. Um, unlike the iPhone, I'm assuming you can't take the battery out. And it came with two batteries and a charger. Battery doesn't last that long. Um, memory card. Oh, has a spot for two SIM cards. Two, so you can switch between two different SIM cards if you so needed to. You can put a memory card in there. I had a 16 gig. I'm not sure what happened to it. It wasn't. It was generic. It just said 16 gigabyte on it. It's the Siphone. GSM quad band cell phone. It's construction. Construction wise. Has nice metal right here. Looks good. Back gives it away, being really, 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 really cheap. A rocker for volume. When it starts up, it makes it sound like do 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 do. And when it turns off, it makes that same noise which can't be shut off. And another thing about this too, picture quality. Worst picture quality I've ever seen on any digital device to date. So, what I'm going to tell you right now, if you're looking to buy a knockoff of an iPhone, don't. Because you really, I guess you could go on the internet with this, but I don't know how you would do it. It's really confusing to use. It doesn't work good. There is not one redeeming quality of quality thing about this product other than the fact it looks like an iPhone and reception as well if you say oh well I don't care I just want to talk on it and make people think I have an iPhone well you can't talk on it you can but you'll never get buyers anywhere to be able to talk on it so it's a piece of junk straight up it's a piece of junk the box that it came with one of the sturdiest um cardboard boxes I've seen. I've never seen Apple's box, but I'm assuming Apple had a really sturdy cardboard box when they came out with it. Um, there was a headphones jack thing that didn't work from the that time I got it. Um, so I could never connect it to a computer. Um, some other, it was a weird, some weird jacks. The speakers in it are really bad. Um, the design of the case looks good. Touch screen, the worst ever, you'd be like, ah, what the heck, why is it not working? S swiping across the screen, why is it not working, why is it not working? And then you'll, and you'll see this piece of junk. I mean, it looks cool. I mean, if this was a competitor to, uh, to the iPhone, which it's not, it's like saying some fat guy sitting on his couch is a, is a competitor to Michael Jordan or something like that. Well, I just want to warn people not to buy Chinese knockoffs. Um, I don't know how the droid tablets are, but that's what I was thinking that I wanted one. But then I'm like, thinking about this phone, how crappy it was. And I'm just like, if I was going to buy a droid tablet, I'd get the Asus, whatever that Asus tablet was. And it's like $400 or something, but... Overall, the only real products that are good are the real Apple ones, the knockoffs. Uh, they don't really function as they should. Touch screen's totally way worse, and that's what you want mostly functionality. You can't even text because it bogs up and freezes, and it's just junk. Don't buy a knockoff iPhone. They have gotten better, I'd say, but still, if you want an iPhone, get an iPhone. Don't buy this knockoff. It's not, you're not going to be happy in the end. Thank you. Have a nice day.